For me, it's always been about being lost. I'm not quite sure what it is. It's just something in the wandering that gives me what I need. Maybe that's why I love to fly. Because from the air, you're always lost. Yes, from the air, this design we are living in is beautiful. It's perfect. It's bliss. Almost like what it was created for. Yes, from the air, everything seems how it ought to be. But woe the reality. What ought to be is not what is. This is what is. Happy Land, a community of slums centered in the most densely populated space on the planet. A world of its own, overwhelmed with scarcity, marred by depravity. A place whose streets seem to never sleep and whose children sleep on them. This is what is. A world beautifully broken, where orphans and widows are all in their affliction, unvisited. Yes, this is what is. Happy Land, a community of slums centered around poverty. It's time someone tell their story. All right, bro, just uh, move that chair over a little bit. Okay, cool. All right, you ready? Yep. All right, let's do it. Hi, my name is Jefferson Talavera. I live here in Slum in Tondo, Manila ever since I was born. Happy Land means uh, a slum or a dump site area. So before there's no house here, it's like a pool of trash and then after many years there's a lot of people living here and soon it become Happy Land where you can see many people happy despite of calamity. And there is 13,000 families living in the whole happy land some families have nine children but the average is five i'm working as a full-time pastor in our church called crayon community ministries work that we do is to feed the hungry to feed the children so this program is for the malnourished kids so every day we fed them twice a day so we have a goal some kids who are so malnourished and we fed them twice a day until they got their weight back. The families living in our community, their job is a collecting garbage and some are collecting a pag pag. Pag pag is, uh, it is a leftover or thrown away food from fast food chain like McDonald's and Jollibee. And what they do is they get the chicken out of the trash and they well, they bought it for 20 pesos per bag to feed their families, especially the children. The, many people eat pag pag because you know what, it's really cheap and this is the only food that some people can afford. They don't have a good job, they don't earn much and they have kids to feed so they end up buying pag pag which is the cheapest one for them to fight the hunger, to feed the, their stomach. I wanted to see for myself what this pog pog thing was everyone was talking about. So Jefferson took me to his neighbor's slum. 
where the mother confirmed what Pog Pog is. Take a listen. How many kids do you have? Eight. Eight kids. In here, you pay 20 pesos for trash. Not even left over, thrown away chicken. Yeah. Wow, and this is what they eat. They eat Pog Pog. Oh, let's see the Pog Pog. <laughs> This is the pag pag. Is this, they already ate it, right? Did you put They will put some um, additional. They, ha they haven't eaten this yet. They haven't. This is what they're going to eat for dinner. Yes. This is what the kids will eat. This is a fully finished piece of meat, and they're going to be eating it for dinner tonight. Out of the trash. And they paid for this. During my time in Happy Land, I saw conditions honestly just unacceptable made friends with hundreds of kids and interviewed several families, all with their own needs, all with stories I wish I could share with you. But on my last day, one little girl caught my eye. This is Baby May, possibly the cutest child on this planet, living in the most desperate of conditions. This is her story, so please follow me on just a 10-minute journey through a day Baby May. All right, guys, here we are. I just wanted to ask them a few questions on how they're living here and what life is like in the slums. So, you ask her where the parents sleep. So, they just line up like sardines. Like a sardines. Like sardines. Like sardines. <laughs> so, this is what they're eating? Did he dig it out of the trash at Jollibee? Um. Pinili ay mabuhat sa ano sa Jollibee. Okay. Oh, they don't pay for it, but they work for it. They work for it. They work for. So he'll work a full day's labor so that he can get pagpa. Ilang oras kayo nito ba para yun? Overnight. Overnight. What is this? It's a supposed to be a milk, but it's a water. This is the milk for baby May. Yes. How old is baby May? A year? One year old. And this is what she drinks. They don't have toilet. They just pick a piece of paper and poop on it. And then place it in a plastic bag and throw it. Hami want to help. Gusto niyang tumulong. Ano po yung mga pangangailangan na ninyo na kailangan na bibili niya? They need a livelihood for them to survive every day. And then the mattress. They need mattress, but what they need is electric fan. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So hot. So hot here. Kailangan yun ba ng electric fan? <laughs> they need obviously. Branded. Branded. So she need a cloxacillin. It's a medical syrup. Don't have money to buy a uh, medical, but they she need. She needs medical. She need help. medical help. Maybe twenty US dollars. That's too much. Too much. Yeah, that's too Ten much. Ten US dollars will help her, and they don't have the money to do it. Yes. Kano po yung sa ngayon po? Magkano po yung perang hawak ninyo? Ano? Ito pa ano lang? Pagkita. Pagbili ng pagkain. How much is that? 100. That's all you have. Pwede pong i-open nyo. Pambili ng pagkain, pang ano, pang bigas. So what they already have is 100 pesos. That's less than two dollars. They have 100 pesos to their name. They make 200 pesos a day. The husband works all night picking up trash to feed baby May Pog Pot. There's a child coming through the wall. Where are you coming from? Is that next door? It's the, copied by. This is the next door. That's the next door. People, this is just so, it's so crazy. I don't know what to do. Like, seriously, this is, I mean, I just, I can't do this alone. It's just, Jefferson, let's go get him a fan. Let's go get him maybe a mattress. Let's go get him some food. Let's go get some medicine for baby May. Let's make something happen for this baby. Before we could go to the clinic, we had to go get baby May some clothes because she didn't have any. So we went to Jefferson's church. We got her some clothes, but no shoes because they ran out. We put a pair of shorts on her head to protect her delicate skin from the sun. And all eight of us loaded up in a tricycle. Wow, that is small water. Oh, yeah. Manika, gotta go. So now we're going to Dr. Manika to have baby May a check up. Okay. For me to know what medicine she needs. Do it because they don't want to spend it for transport and they don't have food to it. <laughs> it's really survival, man. Now we are here in Mariones, a place where uh, Dr. Elmer 
uh, serving a full family. And now um, baby May is having a chat up and he is so happy doing this. <laughs> this is his clinic. Very nice facility. Love what he's done with the place. About four foot by four foot. This is where he helps out all the babies. I'm sure this guy makes no money. I'm gonna give him as much money as I can. You ask him why he does it? I want to help kids get well. Yeah. Do you make any money? A little. But you still do it to help the kids because they need it. Yeah. If if we could help, how could we help you? If you can lend me some capital, with more capital to buy medicine. And you can help way more kids in the community and help yes. all the kids in the slums. Yes. With just, just a little bit more money. How many pesos do you think? About 30 to 15. 30,000 pesos. 30,000 pesos. Okay. Thank you. He's not making any money, but he needs money to, to help more kids. So if I can't figure out a website or anything to get in contact with him right now, then um, I'm going to start a GoFundMe for Dr. Elmore. He says he needs 30,000 pesos to help the maximum amount of kids. Just imagine if we got him 100,000 pesos, 500,000 pesos, what he could do. Come back in a few months, I'm going to give him 100% of what um, that GoFundMe comes to. Um, literally just going to take out the cash from the GoFundMe and give it to him. And he's going to help out hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of sick kids here. Makeup is already done. And baby May got a two medicine. And it costs 350 pesos. 350 pesos. Yeah. All right, we're about to give Dr. Elmore the 350 pesos he needs to help baby May. Uh, I am not going to give him 350 pesos. I'm going to give him 5,000. Yes, thank you very much. 5,000. So you can help. Oh, yeah, God bless you. So you can help more kids. Yes. Okay? Can we pray for the pray kita? I pray for Dr. Lord. Salamat sa buhay noon. Every station na pupunta dito, pagalangin niyo Panginoon through Dr. Almer. And here we go. We're getting in a tricycle. Look at this. Loaded in. Yo, they're happy yeah, as can be. Hello, hello, hello. This is crazy. It's crazy. All right, where are we going? Now, we're going to Jollibee. We will um, have, we will treat family in a real Jollibee. Jollibee. No pug pug. No pug pug. <laughs> no more pug pug. So here we go, we're going into Jollibee. This is going to be these people's best meal of the week. 100%, hands down, no hyperbole used there whatsoever. So here we go, come on, let's go to Jollibee. Let's eat some fried chicken. This family bro, while interviewing them. Yes, I live in the same community. We, I'm not saying that, I'm not telling that we're rich because we're poor. We, we have our own needs. But seeing them, knowing them, it's really heartbreaking. Yeah. While we interview them, I want to cry, yeah. but I just hold my emotion. I want, yeah. I don't want them to see us crying. All right, let's get on this. Let's get as much food as possible. You ready for some Jollibee? Ah, yes. So here we are. Baby May enjoying herself in her first time ever in air conditioning. And let me tell you, we were having ourselves a good time at Jollibee. Met another group of girls outside, so got them a meal as well. They were very thankful. It was all smiles in this place. You know, some say money can't buy happiness. But I'm pretty sure I just bought it for 10 bucks. I mean, literally 10 US dollars can feed an entire family of eight here. Now let's all take a second and look at Baby May absolutely destroying this Coke. Ah, that's nice. So after Jollibee, we went to the pharmacy, where we bought all of her absolute necessities. I mean, you name it, we got it. We got diapers, we got soap and shampoo, we got baby wipes, bottles. Of course, we got milk. But honestly, Baby May didn't really care. She was taking her sweet time on that fried chicken. But come on, let's keep it moving. All right, guys, here we are. We are almost the Baby May's family. I got a little one-inch mattress pad if you want to call it that two pillows my man Jefferson up there he's got the fan yo we got a fan for you and there's baby yo hello these are all the kids that sleep in this massive massive mansion we got going on here five feet by five feet looking real nice we got the living room dining room kitchen master bedroom master closet and of course the kids bedroom and the nursery all right here 
all in one room. Why haven't we thought about that in the States? It's just so inclusive. You can have everything all in one. All right, we have officially finished the fan. I am absolutely soaked in sweat right now. They are absolutely so Baby May is ready for the first fan of her life and her mom and her brother and her sister. Christmas in the Philippines. Let's get it going. Oh! oh! Now we got a fan. We got light. We got happy kids. We got medicine for Baby May's face. So humid inside this room right now. It's like a prison cell. The ceiling is leaking. Everything is wrong with this room. There is nothing right with this. Jefferson, my man spent 10 minutes putting together a $10 fan. That's all it took to make these people the happiest people alive. Just pull out the mattress and the pillows. We got you guys a mattress. Yes. Now we're not sleeping on the concrete. Now let's pull out the pillows. We got clean pillows. Now we're gonna go throw these things away. And they've been using them for 20 years probably. Look at this. This is what the kids sleep on. Now we got Hello Kitty pillows. Happiest girls in the world. Baby May doesn't have to sleep on her mom's leg. She's got a mattress. It's a car's mattress. It's very nice. My man's very happy. We got the neighbors coming in here. They're gonna be sleeping in here too because now this is luxury, people. Here's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna trade out all the new stuff for all the old stuff. So here's what we're gonna do first. We're gonna trade We're gonna trade in the fan. Now we're gonna get their old fan. Let me get their old fan. All right, old fan going in the trash. Beautiful fan right here, but I think it deserves to go in the trash. What do you think? Old fan in the trash. We got the new mattress, half an inch thick. Our old bed, old bed right here. Here's your old bed going in the trash. See ya. We're gonna get the new food. We got brand new fried chicken. We just got them from Jollibee. This is gonna be their dinner tonight and probably their lunch tomorrow. We're gonna take that into the house. We're gonna trade it in for the old food. Now this is Pock Pock. This is thrown away chicken. So we're throwing this away. No more Pock Pock. I'm not gonna throw it though because their house will get all dirty. <laughs> the old medicine for the new medicine. Oh wait, they don't have any old medicine. Gotta add in the baby wipes, Johnson's baby oil for baby May's face. Now let's dig in here, see what we got going on. Argentina meatloaf. I don't know why it's called Argentina, but it is basically spam. Would you eat this in the States? Probably not. Are they gonna love this? Absolutely. We got the hot dogs. We got a whole thing of hot dogs coming in. Have they ever had hot dogs before? Probably it's the cheapest thing here in the Philippines. Most importantly, we got the chocolate, which has already been eaten because I brought it about 10 minutes ago and the kids already ate the chocolate. We got one more left, so the baby has to drink rainwater. So we're gonna trade that out, throw that away. New milk for the baby. Baby May's finally got milk. We got our new bottle. We got our new milk, not new milk because she's never had milk in her life. We got the milk, the baby wipes, the chicken, the food, the hot dogs, the soap, the shampoo, the pillows, the mattress, the fan, the light, and the diapers, and of course the medicine for Baby May's beautiful face there. I have a lot of friends who say, um, when I tell them my ideas of, of, of helping out the poor, they say, Hamie, that's great, go help them out, but here's the deal, you're not gonna be able to change the economy. And I agree, I don't think I'm gonna be able to change the economy. There's always gonna be a lower class, there's always gonna be a middle class, there's always gonna be an upper class, that's fine. I'm not trying to change that. What I'm trying to change is what was is wrong to what is right. And it, for those okay, of you who are watching this video, um, you know that um, what you see with Baby May's face, the fact that they've never had a fan before, the fact that they've never had light like this before, the fact that they eat trash for chicken, lick the bones of, of trash chicken is not right. I think 100% of you would agree that that is wrong. No matter what worldview you come from, that is wrong. The only thing that this world can agree on is that something's wrong with it, and this is absolutely wrong. It's all good things here, uh, but this is just a typical slum here in the Philippines. We gotta do something about this. I'm not trying to change the economy. I'm just trying to be a catalyst for change. I'm coming back. I need your help. Please help me share this video. Thank you, bye. So what was it about being lost I found so natural? It's because it's a part of our human condition. We, as a collective race, are lost, broken, suffering beings desperately in need of a savior. But that's not all. We are also loving, caring, enduring, kind, vibrant, and hopeful, radiant, grateful, generous, strong, courageous, perseverant, resilient human race desperately in need of each other. Yes, this is what is Happy Land, a community of slums centered around joy without measure. Yes, the same lives I saw cope with poverty. I see a hope of prosperity. In the same hearts I saw a hopelessness. I see happiness. In the same faces I saw mourning. I see smiling. 
In the same eyes I saw vacant and void, I see value. In the same lives I saw an affliction, I see an animation. Yes, I must say that in the heart of calamity, what I really found was the purpose of humanity. Over absolutely nothing. Leo, what do you think? I'm pretty sure we could all come together and help. Guys, thank you so much for watching this film in full. You know, one response I often get when I tell people my ideas is, Hammy, that's great what you're doing, but those people you're trying to help, they don't know any better. I get it all the time. And it blows my mind every time because the one suggesting that the poor don't know any better is inherently admitting that he himself does know better, otherwise he wouldn't know what better is. Yet we should not help them, he says. Obviously, I have a very different perspective and a holistic vision. I believe we do know better. I don't think it's pertinent to the situation whatsoever whether or not the victim does. And as a believer of the biblical worldview, I am convinced that Jesus Christ is the only one who can actually save us from this present day suffering and his cross the only hope for humanity. Yet please know this is not just a video for Christianity or any particular worldview. This is a video for all of humanity. This is not just me doing good deeds or, or giving back. I don't believe in those. I believe in being human and fulfilling literally the only reason we are on this earth, to love. This is not just a documentary of me revealing stories but providing you an opportunity to change them. I'll be going back to Manila in February of 2020 to live in Happy Land and just make things happen for the 75,000 plus lives here. You can find all my short-term and long-term goals on my website. Short-term includes no more Pogba. Long-term includes building an all-plastic community outside of the slums to provide real, sustainable, lifelong change for these families. 100% of any donations I receive in response to this video will be directly liquidated into very specific lives here. So guys, we're just getting started. With so many lives, to help in Happy Land, this is just the beginning. So please consider joining me, just a vessel, in 2020, as we change the storyline of Happy Land. Thank you. Woo, boy, that might be it, that might be it. Oh, wait, wait, Guys, also, if you enjoyed this video, please consider sharing it. It's the only way these stories will be heard is if you, yes, I'm talking to you, just share this video, please. Thank you, love you guys, bye. <laughs> Honestly, this is the best moment of my life. I'm not gonna lie. Doing well. High five. Oh, Up here. Oh, we got 10 seconds High five. so far. High five. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> bye bye. I love you. I will be back. I think I'm gonna build myself a house here on the mountain. <laughs> live in the slums. Bye buddy, go show. There she is with the fan and the pillow. Love it. Alright. Okay. Bye bye, you guys. Bye bye, We shall speak to short blessing. The bumps on her head is really already uh, healed.